Clinton, national security experts chilled by Trump. Hillary Clinton discussed her plan to defeat Islamic terrorism and addressed the most recent North Korean nuclear test, while making the case that Donald Trump's leadership would make the nation less safe following a cabinet meeting like roundtable with national security experts on Friday. The Democratic presidential nominee spelled out her security plans, including how she would bolster defenses against domestic terror attacks before she turned to attacking her GOP rival in an appearance before reporters in New York. Clinton cited her endorsement by 110 retired generals and admirals, including 15 within the past 48 hours. It's a signal that this election is different, Clinton said after meeting with a bipartisan group of national security leaders, including former George W. Bush Homeland Security Chief Michael Chertoff. Experts on both sides of the aisle are chilled by what they're hearing from the Republican nominee, said Clinton, painting his candidacy as a risk that makes the November election among the most important in our lifetimes. Clinton is seeking to keep the focus on Trump's recent performance at a forum Wednesday night where he praised Russian President Vladimir Putin as a stronger leader than President Obama. She spoke after meeting with a bipartisan group of national security leaders seated around a rectangular wooden table resembling a cabinet meeting. I'm not waiting until November, said Clinton. The stakes are too high. The Trump campaign responded by laying the blame for national security vulnerabilities at her doorstep. Clinton's failed policies allowed threats to us and our allies to thrive around the world including emboldening Iran and North Korea to accelerate their development of nuclear capabilities with impunity, said retired Major Gen. Bert Mizusawa, in a statement released by the Real Estate Billionaires Campaign. Clinton said North Korea's test of a nuclear warhead requires a rethinking of the strategy. This includes an urgent effort to convince neighbors, particularly China, that this is just not a U.S. issue. I think we have an opening here that we haven't had, given the recent activity, said Clinton. We are not going to let anyone who is an ally and treaty partner of ours to be threatened, she said. China has not yet made the decision that it needs to make that North Korea poses a threat to the region. Clinton also outlined her approach to dealing with the Islamic State which she said would include intensifying the current air campaign and boosting cooperation with local Arab and Kurdish forces. She also said she would emphasize the removal of the top leaders of the terror group just like we did with al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. Clinton has sought to juxtapose her plans with those of Trump, who said Wednesday night that his plan to deal with the Islamic State is a secret and that he'll advise his generals to present a detailed strategy within 30 days of taking office. Prior to North Korea's nuclear test, Trump said during a campaign appearance in Virginia this week that he would let China deal with the problem. What I would do very simply is say, China, this is your baby, Trump said, China can solve that problem. Before ending her question-and-answer session with reporters, Clinton was asked to respond to Trump's praise for Putin. Every day that goes by it just becomes more and more of a reality TV show, said Clinton. It's not a serious presidential campaign. When Trump isn't really even understanding what Putin has already done, like invading and occupying Crimea, said Clinton.